Welcome back to Advanced Biomechanics on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, I'm going to give you a very, very basic approach to assessing static posture. Now, obviously people fall, and we'd like to know what system is at fault for making them fall. And so we're going to get a very basic framework here for figuring out which of the three major systems is responsible for causing someone to be unable to maintain their balance and possibly falling. And in order to maintain balance, there's going to be three systems at play. We've got the visual system, proprioception, and the vestibular system. Now, the visual system is obviously the eyes. Okay? Um, we see with our eyes. I don't think we need to linger there. Proprioception really has more to do with sensory receptors of different kinds um, in muscles and around joints. Um, we have things like muscle spindles, Golgi tendon organs, even some muscles like the plantaris muscle in the knee or rotatoris muscle in the spine, some muscles are thought to have less of a biomechanical role and more of a proprioceptive role in the sense that they are measuring the degree of motion at the joint, where the joint is at any given time. In the context of standing, we're really talking about proprioceptors or these sensory receptors in the feet, since the feet are what are in direct contact with the ground during standing. Then we have the vestibular system. This is something that we find in the inner ear. Um, if you've taken Anatomy and Physiology 2, maybe the end of 1, you've probably talked about these fairly recently. Um, this is actually the vestibular apparatus in the ear. And the vestibular apparatus plays an important role in maintaining balance. And any time there's a disturbance to the equilibrium of the head, so if you bend your head to one direction or another, then you throw this out of alignment and you're able to sense that. And so, that would be the vestibular system. And all three of these play a role in maintaining balance. Now suppose we have an individual who has difficulty maintaining their balance. And also suppose that one of these three systems was at fault, meaning one of these systems is faulty. We need to figure out which one it is. So how do we do that? Well first we need to understand how to knock out each of these sensations. Okay? How do we knock out vision? Well, just close the eyes. That's pretty straightforward. Again, no need to linger there. How do we knock out proprioception? Well, we can knock out proprioception basically by moving from a firm surface to a very compliant surface. So a firm surface over here would be like walking on a sidewalk, meaning that the surface really doesn't give in whenever you step on it. Okay? One way to think about the proprioceptors in your feet when you're standing on a firm surface like concrete is they are very aware of what's going on. They're not confused. But if you step on something like a memory foam mattress, one of those things that conforms to your shape, now your proprioceptors are all confused. They don't know what's going on because you sink in and out of this memory foam mattress. So basically just standing on foam. In very simple terms, that decreases the ability of your proprioceptors to provide accurate information. So that's how you would knock those out. Go from a firm surface to a compliant surface. And in terms of knocking out the vestibular system, um, you just need to do something to disturb the vestibular system. So basically, you can do what this guy is supposed to be doing in this picture, rotating your head back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you'll make yourself dizzy, but that's the point. You're knocking out the vestibular system. And so you're going to have to do three tests. You'll have to test the vision, test the vestibular system, and test proprioception. But the general rule is you need to knock out two of them, and the one remaining is the one you're testing. So for example, if I wanted to test proprioception, I'd need to knock out these two. In other words, if I knock out vision and I knock out vestibular system, then the one remaining, which is proprioception, is the one I'm testing. In other words, I could test proprioception by knocking out the vestibular system and vision. The way I'd knock out vision is just keep the eyes closed. And the way I would knock out the vestibular system is by doing those head turns that that guy is doing in this picture. In other words, to get a really good understanding of testing proprioception, I need to keep it on a firm surface because I'm not trying to knock that out. I'm just knocking out vision by closing the eyes and knocking out the vestibular system by basically making myself dizzy. Head back and forth, back and forth. And so if I knock out these two, the one remaining is the one I'm testing. Okay? That's how I would test proprioception. 
How would I test vision? Well, I just need to knock out the other two. So I need to knock out the vestibular system and knock out proprioception. I can't knock out vision, that's what I'm testing, right? But I wanna knock out proprioception. So I would, again, take us off of a firm surface onto some compliant surface, and then again, knock out the vestibular system by doing those head turns back and forth, back and forth. And so the general idea here is if you wanna test any one of these, you need to knock out the other two. The only other one here that we didn't do was if I wanted to test the vestibular system. I'd of course have to knock out proprioception and knock out vision. And again, the way I would do that, close the eyes, also stand on a compliant surface, but I would just keep my head level. I wouldn't be turning my head because I'm testing the vestibular system. So knock out two and the remaining one is the one you're testing. So, Hopefully this video gave you a good framework for understanding how you would assess uh, somebody's balance and what systems were at fault by testing each one of these three. And again, knock out two and the remaining one is the one that you're testing. Hopefully that made sense. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.